Hi, I'm Gemma and I'm mummy to Izzy who is nine, Ollie who is six, Mason who is four and Ottilie who is 11 months old. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips and tricks for a festive day out with your baby. Christmas is obviously the most wonderful time of the year, but it can be busy and overwhelming and if you're anything like me, your head is full with planning and your calendar's full and you just have so much going on. Planning for a day out with a baby or a toddler, especially if you have other children, is usually a very fine line between taking too much stuff or forgetting things. So here are my top five tips for having a less stressful day out with your baby or toddler over the Christmas period. My first tip is make sure that your changing bag is fully stocked up. Sometimes it can be tempting not to take your changing bag out when you have to take a lot of stuff with you. However, I've always been a big believer in that if your changing bag is stocked up, everything has a place, you know exactly what you need to take and what's going to be in there, you're not going to find yourself in a position where you can't find a dummy or you can't find a muslin or you haven't got a change of clothes or nappies. So make sure your change your bag is stocked and you'll be good to go. So my second tip is to invest in a thermos if your baby is anything like mine. Um, so she's 11 months now, but she still is very keen on having her milk warm. Um, and when you're out for the day, that can always be a bit tricky if you need to find some way to heat it up. So we have a really good thermos, which we can just put the hot water into and stand her bottle in it. So that it's the perfect temperature when she's ready to feed. My third tip is that at 11 months old, Ottilie does still really like her milk. Something I found useful is to take a carton of ready to drink SMA Pro follow on milk out with me, which is easy and convenient on the go. My fourth tip is always make sure you have a spare change of clothes. Now this applies to baby and to older children because I know that mine are always going to be getting in the mud no matter where we go, they will always get filthy. Um, but especially for the baby, especially if they end in like Otley, because she is the queen of the exploding nappy, even at 11 months old, she just manages to get it everywhere. So I always make sure I have a change of clothes so that we're not um, stuck trying to find a shop to buy something because I have been in that position before, it's not ideal. And my fifth and final tip is utilize your pushchair. Now, some people would say to have a smaller type of pushchair, like an umbrella stroller for a day out. I like my big pushchair. I've always been a big fan of having my big pushchair with the big basket. Um, it's brilliant for storing a changing bag, anything you want to take out with you on the day so that you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards to the car. And also, if you're doing an activity which requires you to go indoors and outdoors, all of my children like to shed their coats, so somewhere to shove the coats when you're walking around is always a great idea as well. I also know that if Ottilie's in a big push chair, she will be comfy and she will sleep, and sometimes that can be a bit of a nightmare on a day out when they won't nap, so I know if she's in her big push chair with her foot muff and nice and cosy, she will definitely sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find these tips helpful and that you will have a very, very happy Christmas. See you again soon. Bye!